Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Out here at the new place. Yes, hanging out out here at the new ranch. Um, just excited to get stuff going. I borrowed another good neighbor, awesome neighbor, um, this tractor today because we don't have one out here yet. We need a skid steer is what I really need out here. But we've got this out here and I've got a big delivery coming today and uh, something I wanted for a long time and we finally had the space that we need it for now. Um, so we've got something that a lot of bison people use, a lot of cattle people use, and um, it's gonna be really awesome around here and they're easy to move too. So I've got them coming today. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna move some round bales of hay and get in the barn uh, that I had to purchase and stock up for winter for the herd over here at this place. So I uh, gotta get these round bales moved and then I'm gonna wait on delivery truck to show up. All right, here it is. Guys, right here. These are called freestanding panels. They're 24 foot wide. They weigh 600 pounds a piece. And I bought 20 of them. What they do is, I don't know how long these have been out, but here's what's awesome about them is they can, they drill these holes through this, um, looks like a two and five eighths pipe here. Some of them do it in two and seven eighths. Um, pipe but they put the sucker rod through here and then they weld it to the uprights they come with these little legs right here which are nice that come to a t they're easy to move just like you saw with the tractor so you can get up under there and move these guys so uh well, it came with this sort of package if you bought 10 i was able to get um you got one panel that came with a 10 foot gate. So that's gonna be handy uh, to have this little gate. And so I've got two of those actually. Um, here's the other one right here. So this will be nice. And you're probably wondering, well, Dusty, what are you gonna do with these? Well, guys, here's the thing about how awesome these freestanding panels are is they're mobile. That's the great thing about them is if you've got them somewhere, wherever you want them, and you don't lock them or, or, or want to move them, uh, you can move them. You're not, you're not 
digging and uh, setting pipe in the ground. So we're uh, we're gonna use these in certain places, and basically what they're a lot of it is gonna be for is to um, a lot of it's gonna be for actually working the bison is what a lot of these will be super handy for, and uh, I'm excited to I'm excited to use these. We're gonna use these uh, 24 foot freestanding panels uh, around the facility here. Here's the old working system, the old working handling facility here. Uh, this is great pipe. This looks like it's uh, two and three quarter, but this was already here. I haven't talked too much about it, but I will tell you about this place and introduce it to you slowly. Um, but uh, there is an old cattle working system here. Um, and no squeeze shooter, nothing like that. But this stuff is awesome. It's it's really high, it's durable. And uh, my stepdad, Kevin, actually helped build some of this a long time ago, which is kind of funny. And so many years later, um, my wife and I are just blessed to have this place. So um, connections of life, connections of people is a great thing. And uh, so we're going to use these freestanding panels kind of in and throughout the property. Um, but mostly up here next to our handling facility and that's what it's going to be used for is to work the bison which is a good thing so you know here's the thing about bison raising bison it, it's not like cattle you can't go and buy uh, the thin cheap panels uh, you can't go and buy the thin uh, cheaper um, gates you can't do that uh, raising bison can be expensive especially starting off as a young bison producer I think it's important to have good equipment and you have to have good equipment uh, raising these animals. And um, here's the thing. Um, and the, I want the people to be safe that help me work these animals. And I also want the animals to be safe. And if you've got stuff like this, it's gonna help you in the long run. It may be expensive. Yeah, and it sucks to spend money on stuff like this, but I know a lot of guys that use these and it saves them it saves them a lot of money in the long run. Uh, but, but these things la are going to last forever too. And I'm not trying to uh, advertise for any company or anything or the people I bought them from. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there that make it. I'm just talking about the equipment that you got to have sometimes to raise these animals the right way. And we try to do the best we can for animals. And it starts right here with having good equipment. Well, trying to locate water, all the water lines. This is what I discovered. That would be a busted line there. So that's fun. It's a nice way to start. So I had the roll water company come out to uh, get my water back on they had to do some new plumbing that's why all this is dirty right here so I came in here turned my meter on and I turned it on and it's actually leaking that's there which is awesome got the new smart meter here they're installing everywhere for our rural department I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off for now since we've uh found a fancy freak. Ah. Mm -hmm. I knew we would probably run into some issues. So one, that's leaking. And two, a water line got cut right up here, which is where you saw the water spewing out. And uh, that's probably from, I'm not gonna name them, but the electric company who came and hooked up our power over here. But um, accidents happen, but um, they didn't say anything to me. And I should have known it by the red flag that um, this pipe is laying here about two feet from where uh, the water's spewing out. So 
That's cool. Look at all these dadgum fire ants. I hate fire ants. So, looks like a three quarter inch line. Of, uh, troubles of starting off uh, in the early days of uh, getting water. So, rural department came and hooked it up. Then they they put a smart meter on it. And then um, I just came out here to check it and all this is happening.